Meanwhile, the Obama campaign and its super PAC both attacking Mitt Romney. Joining us now, Romney advisor Kevin Madden. Uh, the Bain Capital attacks. Let me give you a chance to respond to what has been said. And earlier today, Bill Burton from the Super PAC Priorities USA compared what Bain did with one steel company in Missouri to what John Dillinger had done. <laughs> uh, then I, when I, when I right. pressed him on it, he said he's not alleging anything that either broke rules or laws. But this attack is certainly zeroing in well, look, directly the, on the you. president and his allies' attacks on this are emblematic of what is exactly wrong with this administration, which is that they're extremely scornful of business at a time where we need businesses to thrive, and they're extremely scornful of the private industry and the private capital, um, uh, uh, the private capital uh, industry when we need capital to flow, whether it's big businesses or small business, in order to get this economy back. So I think what you're seeing right now is with these attacks is um, we're seeing we're seizing it as an opportunity to talk on the issue. Where arena of the economy, which is central to what I think voters are going to be using to decide whether or not they want to um, rehire um, President Obama. Given the poor performance of the American economy, given the fact that we're lacking the job creation that we need to put the economy back on track and have better employment numbers, I think it's clear that when they see Governor Romney's uh, record on this, when they see his, both his experience in the private sector as well as a very successful governor, as well as somebody who is pointing towards the future and giving everybody an agenda he thinks is going to put the American economy back on track that that's going to put us in a big position so as much as they want to attack we're going to seize on it as an opportunity to talk about the economy president obama was on the view and the ladies of the view asked him about about mitt romney and his posture on business governor romney members uh, some of the republican members of congress and the financial industry have been arguing that this is unnecessary that this is impeding capital formation it's making it harder uh, to lend to businesses, etc. It is my strong belief that we've got to have vigorous enforcement of these rules that we just passed. I mean, doesn't what happened with J.P. Morgan Chase uh, raise issues as to whether Mitt Romney is too laissez-faire? Let me just button this down by mm -hmm. showing you a bit of what Governor Romney had to say to an NBC affiliate in Charlotte, North Carolina, the day the J.P. Morgan Ch Chase story broke. The president's program, this Dodd-Frank, is far too labyrinthian and massive. It's weighing down the financial services sector and frightening the sector, making it harder for this economy to reboot. Don't we want to frighten the sector a little bit to not do the kind of hedges that J.P. Morgan could cover, but that other banks could not? Well, I think complex trades that nobody even understands. If you don't understand whether it's a hedge or a proprietary trade, then there's a problem. I think that is the difference. I think that this administration and this president, they look at it in a way they want to frighten or punish. And I think what we want to do is we want to incentivize good behavior. We want to incentivize smart risk. We want to incentivize um, aggressive formation of capital so that companies can feel that they can go out and hire more workers. They can expand. And when you have an instance like J.P. Morgan Chase uh, with their $2 billion loss, you have to look at the regulators, what went wrong, uh, what could have been done better. But I don't think that this means that you have to go out and you have to start punishing business. Um, and I think that's the fundamentally different worldview that we have. I think there's, there's still a lot of questions out there. I noticed that Senator Corker was on the, uh, the program earlier. He was talking about hearings and that they still have a lot more to learn. I think that's right. I think the difference between Governor Romney and President Obama on the issue of regulations is that President Obama is looking at it from a very punitive viewpoint, whereas Governor Romney looks at it, well, what are the most smart, efficient regulations that we can have in order to incentivize uh, businesses to grow and hire? That's the big difference. Actually, what President Obama said was that Jamie Dimon is one of the smartest bankers around, that J.P. Morgan uh, came through the crisis better than any of the others. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't slamming them. He was just saying if, if it's too complicated for them to get it, then don't we have a problem? Right. Well, I think absent the J.P. Morgan uh, example, th this is a president who has talked about businesses and the private sector and industry as fat cats and, um, and, and making too much money and, and, and I think you know looking at the both tax regime and the regulatory regimes in a very punitive way towards what I think is American success and, and, and business that needs to thrive. And, that's a, and I think that's just a fundamental difference that we're going to have. You happy to have this full-throated endorsement from George W. Bush? Sure. I think we've, we've always said that we're happy to have uh, President Bush. I don't think it comes as a surprise to anybody, but of course. I didn't see it happening in some great uh, moment with the cameras. I think we're, as the elevator door closed, we're, he said, sure, I know. <laughs> we're, we're past the uh, formal endorsement phase here. This is a contest between uh, President Obama and Governor Romney. Got it. Thank you very it's much. Great to be with you. Good to have you. And up next.